you're, you're here because of your movie, um, here it's called Just Friends, yeah. what if in, in other countries. And this is a really nice, heartwarming movie about a guy who falls in love with a girl. And it's nice to see a movie where the guy is the one having the, the romantic problem. Absolutely. You know, I think there's a lot of movies that there's, uh, they, they really sort of skew towards the female perspective on romantic comedies. And um, it, yeah, it is lovely to see a film. I, think, I mean, this is fairly balanced, I think. I think there's definitely the female perspective is very much a part of this movie, but it's shared with, with my characters, Wallace. Um, so yeah, I think there's maybe a pressure on men sometimes uh, not to be vulnerable. And there's a sort of expectation that men aren't the ones that ever get hurt in love. But like, I think, in, I think often in some ways men are more romantic than women. Men are the people that I've heard in my life going like, oh my God, I can't live without her. This is, you know, you know, if, if she ever leave me, I don't know what I'll do. You know, that, though, so I think men are, are, are very romantic as well. And it's definitely nice to portray that. And the, what has been the, like the biggest romantic gesture that you've ever done? I did actually once fly to Ireland to surprise somebody because my, my girlfriend at the time was Irish, but it's a lot less impressive because I live in England. So it's only like an hour away. Oh, it's impressive so, enough. Okay, well, that's good. That's a good, a good gesture. Has there been a romantic comedy that's made you like shed a tear? Um, I don't know. I mean, honestly, I. I hope that this film will do that for people. I do think the end is very emotionally affecting in a way that not all romantic comedies are. Um, yeah, you know, I, I can't think of one right off the top of my head, but I'm sure I, uh, I'm sure I probably have at some point. But uh, yeah, I, I've cried at other movies a lot, but um, I can't think of a romantic comedy off the top of my head. Well, speaking of endings, I heard somewhere that you filmed the kiss at the very end of the production. Yeah. Uh, is it easier or harder to film the kiss at the end when you already know the actress really well and it can be kind of awkward? Oh, no, no, no. I definitely think it's much easier to film it at the end. And also it's lovely because the that's kind of the place it falls in the movie. So it's very rare that you get to do anything even vaguely in chronological order. And so I think when you've been doing scenes for like six weeks of you sort of flirting and, you know, building up chemistry and, you know, getting naked in front of each other and whatever it else you're doing, it's kind of, I think it was weirdly cathartic for the crew to see that scene happen and come together to know that that would actually be happening, um, you know. I hope there's not there's not too much of a spoiler, but I mean it obviously totally is. But it you know there's there's a lot on the journey that happens that uh, is still unexpected. So now um, the problem with Chandra in the movie is that her boyfriend is actually a really nice guy. Yeah, that's I think that's one of the the smartest things they did in the movie. I think sometimes in romantic comedies people fall into the trap of casting casting somebody and making them play like a really horrible guy and you you know it reflects badly on the female character because you're like why the hell is she with him and it also just mean you know it takes away any tension out of the situation you know you obviously know she's going to end up with the good guy whereas i think because Chantry's boyfriend in this is is you know nice and uh, treats her well and is good looking and successful you know there's no reason uh, that's that's I think it makes it truer to life it's a harder situation for her character because it's not like there's one bad guy and one good guy there's one guy she has loved for a long time and there's just somebody else that she is now falling in love with so it makes it a lot uh, more interesting I think if you were in the same situation you Daniel would you feel bad about stealing the girl or do you feel like everything is fair in love and war? Oh, you know, I mean, like, that definitely, I mean, uh, I definitely wouldn't feel good about stealing anybody's girlfriend. That's not, um, you know, that's that's n not a great thing, yet, obviously. But, um, but you know, I, I do think I, I would be more direct about it than Wallace is in the first place. Like, I would, I think, if I knew I felt that way about somebody, I would find it hard to live in denial and pretend that I didn't. So I, I think I'd be sort of, uh, uh, for better or worse, I would be much more upfront about it. So could you give us some advice for the guys who are right now in the friend zone? The advice I would give to anyone in, who is sort of in the friend zone and looking to get out of that is just, you know, do what my character eventually sort of does after much deliberation in this film and just, you know, have a conversation, talk to them and, you know, to see how it goes. It might not be the answer you want, but at least you'll know. I was looking at some of your interviews online and I saw this one person, one of your fans, 
who made sort of like a compilation of your funniest moments. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And I found a moment when you told someone that sometimes you have to pluck your eyebrows. <laughs> yes. That, yes. Well, you know, I have uh, in the past. Well, look at these things. Like, it only, I, like, it only hurts there. Yeah. That bit. The middle bit's fine. Just do that. But the, the bit, but I can also, like, I, I have a whole different level of, 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 pain of associa association with women because I recently had hair extensions put in for a film and like I don't know why A, anybody would go through that but B, why anyone has long hair like any man who has long hair voluntarily in my opinion is kind of crazy w women obviously have lots of long hair but you know they deal with it a lot better than I dealt with it for the six months I had it just the drying it and washing it's a hassle I, I feel sympathy there it's difficult being a girl it is I, it definitely is